Hit that like button if you enjoy the video, and if you do, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss a new video. Notification squad, enjoy. What's up guys, this is Spectre Phantom, and we have another reaction for you guys. So the Call of Duty channel has uh, recently uploaded a bunch of clips on uh, this, uh, more on, like the characters and more story information. So what I did is I just took all the recent clip, all the clips that are out at this point and put them in one whole video. So that's what you're going to see here. So without further ado, no more introductions. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into this reaction. I'm playing this in three, two, one, play. They say you're a vet when the ramp drops. It's now or never. Ronald Red Daniels, 19, all right. Ever since I could hold a rifle, my brother drilled into me what it was to be a hero. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Okay, I like that. I'm sorry I waited to tell you about the baby. She's pregnant. Oh! I'm seeing everything what? now. It ain't the world that's changing, it's me. Ooh, look at that. All right. You want to settle something? You do it head on. It's the only way to earn respect. Robert Zussman. Uh... I have to show Pearson I'm ready. You ain't got nothing to prove. She's glad you got my back. Warrior spirit. Look at that battlefield, though. Oh my gosh. I like our odds just fine. Always bet on a winner, sir. I said how I love these graphics for these to cinematics and the. End. the Story trailer. All right. Pearson, our sergeant, never lets up. Easy. You know, see how easy it is. William Pearson. He's the guy from Transformers. <laughs> yes, sir. He should be. He should be tough as nails. Him, boy. Of course. What about our we had order? Don't we punch my boy. We start going our own way. The whole thing breaks down. When did you forget that? Forgot it when he saw you. All right, fellas, we got a unique opportunity here. Joseph Turner. So these are our main characters here. No mission too difficult. No sacrifice too great. Wow. So he's that guy. When you're leading your own platoon, you find out there's usually two options: bad and worse. But you focus on your men, because that's what'll get you through. Wow! Look at that. That's that's good. Look at that. I held that like that. Pier. Follow me. I'll take you to your platoon. Rest you. Or whatever. I came for my parents. And my husband. And find me, my son. Tonight, everything we've lost. Everything we fought for will mean something. Tonight, we take back out. So, these are the, uh, that was the, uh, French ladies. Ordinary German supply train. It's a fortress on wheels. Cabinary. All right, there's our target. Cabinary and the Iron Fortress. <laughs> Rousseau and I will pose as officers to infiltrate the garrison. When we blow the gates, that'll be your signal to approach. This is our one chance. This is like a movie, bro. This whole thing. There's no turning back. And that was it, guys. Look at... So, my final thoughts on all those is that this that this like game this campaign is gonna be like a movie style which is what i missed from the original call of duties like the uh i'd say they ended that after advanced warfare black ops 3 and infinite warfare did this thing where you kind of like it's kind of like i wouldn't say open world but you can travel around the whole map and it's like you lose the uh feel that you're why like you're playing a part the uh original like these black ops 3 and infinite warfare wanted you to be the soldier but then it lost that cinematic experience that the original call of duties have had for ever which i love from black ops 1 it has that cinematic movie feel to it they gotta have a balance you want to you don't you want to have options but you don't want to have too many to the point where it's like all this stuff. I feel like 
Even though Black Ops 2 is one of the best campaigns of all time, I feel like it suffered with all the choices you make. You play the campaign differently each time, yes, but which makes the, makes the game fresh for more time, but then you lose that whole experience of a cinematic universe, if you know what I'm saying. So you play, like, you play the campaign and you go to your friend's house the next day and you're like, yo, did you see this happen in the Black Ops 2 campaign? And he's like, no, what are you talking about? The campaign ends like this, you know? You can't, you can't converse about it. And then you just spoiled an, another ending for him and he spoiled an ending for you. So, yeah. But this game is promising. I really like it. And I feel like the campaign is top notch right now. Multiplayer seems okay for now. I don't want to judge it yet because it was just the beta that came out well, a couple weeks ago. But Zombies is going to be very interesting. And it's going to be a key factor in my uh, channel from that point on because if the zombie sucks, no zombies content until July when Treyarch reveals their zombies and all that. Which I'm actually hyped for next year. It's already next year that Treyarch's next game comes out. Oops, sorry. But yeah, that's crazy. But enough tangents. And to be conclu in conclusion, this game, this campaign, looks very good so far. And I'll be playing it. And that's it. So this is Spectra Phantom. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.